Hey man, you know, medium format's been like great and everything, but I think I just gotta go large format. Here, take it, I don't even need it. Uh, did you guys have any four by five film? Yeah, yeah, that one right there. Oh man, this is gonna look great on a big negative. You know, I really wish they made Delta 400 in four by five. Be a little bit cheaper than this T-Max. Oh shoot! Yeah, you know, I'm thinking about starting with film and then like immediately going to wet plate after that. And I wish this was a faster lens. 4.7, that's, that's kind of limiting. Don't worry, this is just my starter lens. Totally gonna be an Aero Actar. Ooh, Tri-X, classic, gotta love it. 50 sheets, ooh, how much? Oh, no, 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 put that one back, put that one back. It's just so liberating to not need any electronics for this thing. Okay, light meter app, great. HP5 at 1600. A lot of people say you should shoot at box speed, but I'm just gonna push it to 3200. You're never gonna see the grain. Oh man, this is gonna be the perfect place to work on my shine fluke. Yeah, hey, uh, no, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little bit late. I just, I, got, I gotta get a picture of these rocks. Uh, I don't know, real quick, like two or three hours. Portra, amazing, amazing. How much? No, no, sorry, go ahead and put that one back. What would Ouija do here? Nothing like Ektar 100. Did you hear Cinecil's gonna be making a four x five film? Can't wait, the tones, man, the tones. Okay, oh, that's so, so dark. All right, let's try the loop. Ah, oh, come on, oh, now I need another loop. You know, it's not the price of the camera, it's the film that gets you. Here we go, movements, movements. Uh, that's, that's it? I feel like I really need to get some more movements and a little more build quality. I'm thinking about like a Linhoff, you know? It's like a Leica, but larger. Nah, I'm gonna get an eight by 10. Ooh. Got an eight by 10? Oh, all right. Oh, what a nice day to be out. Oh, this is the good stuff. Ooh. Okay, almost there, just a little closer. You know, they call eight by 10 the perfect format. There's a reason for it. You know, that eight by 10, it's a real workout plan. Okay, that's fine, it's gonna be worth it. Oh yeah, it's gonna be worth it. Oh my God, you guys look so cute right now, hold that. Let me get a shot, I have to get a shot. It's gonna take one second, no worries. No pain, no gain, let's go large format. Oh yeah. Okay, don't move. Seriously, this is gonna be like the quickest picture that's ever been taken of you guys. Oh, sh I forgot my light meter. You know, modern lenses are cool, but I'm thinking of going soft focus, real pictorialist style. Oh my gosh, the bokeh. Orange, red, ah, which one am I gonna use? Ah, whatever, I'll do it in Photoshop. Keep holding it, keep holding it. The depth of field is like, it's like point zero zeros. The original live view right here. Zero, zero, three millimeters, so we can't move. So nice to finally have a camera with movements. I know it's a long time, but do you think you could smile for this picture? Oh no. Fuji 250. What? I don't have any more image circle? Time for a new lens. Pictorialism's out. We're back to the sharpest stuff ever. Oh, I gotta account for Bellow's extension factor. Let's get something on there with a little more image circle. Oh yeah, this is gonna do the trick. No! Yeah, bought that fridge the other day. Time for a new camera. No, no food, just film. We have our Bellow's factor, we've got our film, reciprocity. Okay, I think we can take a picture now. Let's bring it on down to F64, the way Ansel intended. We're just, we got a meter. We got to get the exact spot for the meter. Got my zone three, get a zone seven in there. That can't be right. Look, this would have been a fast picture, but you keep moving. Let's see, what's my development gonna be? F64, three seconds. No, I guess I can't take a picture here. Ready, ah! Go. Oh. You know, I love this lens and I love that you're holding still, but I think the problem is we need a bigger camera. Oh, eight by 10, nothing like it. Hundreds of megapixels, gigapixels even. This is gonna look great embedded at 1080 into a video. You know, the eight by 10 thing's been going pretty good and I've wasted a lot of money, but I think I gotta go ultra large. Go big or go home. 
Okay, yeah, great job, you guys. No, don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll head in a sec. Oh, my back! Modern lenses, eh, soft focus, whatever. Process lenses, that's where it's at. What do you mean you don't have any 8x20 film? Soup some of this film. Let's get our hands dirty. I have to wait how long for it? Oh, man, not again. Ultra large format's cool, but I really don't like waiting for the film. Like, once a year? Like, what? Oh, there's no way. Not, not, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, bad emulsion. You know what they say, the best camera is the one you can't afford to shoot. Something about large format just has a way of slowing you down. Yeah, you know, it just really slows me down. You know, it's a methodical process. I'm really about the process. It's a slow and methodical process. Oh, all right. Can't wait to get this home and scan it. Throw it up on Instagram, Flickr. Maybe I'll even chop this up into a TikTok. Who knows? Whew. Nothing like making photos.